Wow, so that's easily one of the most mind-blowing videos of 2013, in which we see the Chelyabinsk meteor sear across the sky and explode on the horizon. So let's talk about what a meteor is. <laughs> Let's back up. It's February 15th, 2013, and dashboard digital cameras are everywhere. Now, Americans tend to use these clever gadgets to record themselves eating hamburgers or hanging out with Be Real or Jerry Seinfeld. In Russia, however, dashboard cameras protect motorists against insurance scams, hit and run accidents, and some of the most aggressive motorists in the known universe. Yowza! All those Russian cameras provide some excellent coverage for when something like this happens. The Chelyabinsk meteor entered Earth's atmosphere with an estimated speed of 18.6 kilometers per second. That's over 41,000 miles per hour, or 66,960 kilometers per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, that's almost 60 times the speed of sound. Mach 60. The 62-foot wide fireball streaked through the morning sky over Chelyabinsk, Russia. Then about 19 miles above the surface, the meteor reached peak heat, momentarily shining brighter than the sun for viewers in a 62-mile radius. Then it blasted apart in an explosion equal to roughly 600,000 tons of TNT. Lucky for us, though, scientists suspect an impact 4.4 billion years ago created shock veins in the meteor, leaving it fragile enough to break apart with relative ease. A post-mortem of the fragments revealed that the meteor originated in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are actually minor planets, small rocky bodies that orbit the sun in the main asteroid belt. They're remnants of the early solar system. Think of them as the leftover pieces you find in the Lego box after your creation is complete. We've tracked more than 20,000 of these bad boys, ranging in size from the minuscule to the enormous. Sometimes collisions between asteroids, egged on by Jupiter's massive gravity, cause asteroids to leave the belt, and sometimes they head towards Earth. If they enter our atmosphere, we call them meteors, and any fragments that actually reach the surface of Earth are called meteorites. When Chelyabinsk exploded, 75% of the rock simply evaporated, but between 9,000 and 13,000 pounds of meteorites still fell to the ground, including a 1,400-pounder that thankfully touched down in an iced-over lake. Chelyabinsk serves as a sobering wake-up call on the dangers of near-Earth objects. In the past, severe impacts have triggered mass extinction events, like the one that killed off the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. And the 1908 Tunguska event saw a 220 million pound space rock hit the Siberian wilderness with an impact blast on par with the detonation of 185 Hiroshima atomic bombs. It's the largest known impact in the modern era, but experts predict that meteors of this size enter Earth's atmosphere roughly once every 300 years. As such, asteroids pose an ever-present threat to human civilization and even life itself, underlining the need for continued and improved monitoring of near-Earth objects and the implementation of countermeasures for impending impacts. For instance, the asteroid Apophis will come within 22,364 miles or 36,000 kilometers of Earth in April 2029. It'll probably be a flyby, but there's still a chance it might slam right into this little blue and green orb we call home sweet home. So what raced through your mind back in February when you saw the Show Events video for the first time? And what other videos from 2013 blew your mind? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming make sure to subscribe